Today I'm going to build a solar filter for this bridge camera. Uh, this technique can be also applied to a DSLR or a telescope. So first thing I did is I went out and I purchased some solar film. And you can see it's, it's like a mylar on one side and a dark on the other. And so really what we have to do is, is make a shroud that holds that on the end. Now you can purchase these already made, but um, this is kind of a, a unique camera, not super popular, so I'm just going to make my own. Also, uh, in case you don't have any of that solar film and you want to try it anyways, um, I'm going to give it a try with a chip bag. So you can see I've got kind of a dark area here in the chip bag, and if you've seen the inside chip bags, they're, they're like uh, a shiny mylar. So we're going to face that side outward and this side inward, and we'll give it a try. So for the shroud, um, I just went to my pantry and grabbed a can of green beans and um, just powered up and uh, run the zoom out as soon as it gets going there. And looks like it should fit great. So I've got the distance. I'm going to secure it around here. I can do my full range of zoom. Your mounting will change depending on, you know, if you have a manual focus or, or how you want to do it. Um, I also confirm the diameter. So the only downside with this can is it's a pull tab. So a pull tab will have a sharp edge around here that I'll have to deal with. Um, so I don't really want that one. Some other cans, including this one, also have kind of a rounded lip there. So if you've got a can opener, it's not going to sit in the groove and it's going to make a really nasty jagged edge. So I went back to the pantry, I found some chili cans, and it's got the nice groove, uh, both top and bottom. And so what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go cut both ends out and clean it all out. And then we're going to epoxy this to our film and stick it on. So I'll be right back. All right, I got these all emptied out. You can see I got both ends cut out, no sharp edges. Uh, I also removed the label and uh, use mineral spirits to remove the sticky. Uh, makes it a little nicer. Um, if you're worried about looking goofy, this would be the time to uh, spray paint these black. Um, I'm not really going to worry about it. And uh, we'll also want to check the fit. So it's going to be pretty tight. It looks like I'm just going to fit on this outer ring. Um, but that should work fine. So next thing we want to do um, is we want to get out some epoxy. Uh, so I'm probably going to use this stuff, just clear five minute, one minute would probably work fine, um, JB Quick Weld. Uh, you could use silicone or super glue or different things. I just like, um, I like the epoxy because it, uh, it's going to have a nice solid coating and it's going to um, cure pretty quickly. Uh, so let me mix up some epoxy and we'll start. All right, I've got my epoxy mixed up, and we're just going to take the can, and we're going to dip the corner in it, just kind of spin it around. Should get us pretty good coverage. I was a little generous with the epoxy. Usually the first, uh, the first squeeze on those never is very even, so it takes a little bit to get it all get to a 50-50 ratio and I'm just going to make sure I got enough in there. I don't need to go crazy. It just has to hold the film on. Okay. All right. And this part's important. You want the black side toward your camera. And I'm going to put it towards a corner so that if I want to make a second one, I want to use this other part for something else I can. Hopefully, if we look down in there, I didn't bobble around too much. 
And I'm just going to twist it ever so slightly just to make sure I've got good contact. That kind of just spreads the glue around. And then I'm going to look in there, make sure the film is uh, nice and flat, no, no wrinkles. And we'll wait five minutes for that one to cure. Um, I guess we can give a go on the other one. We'll see if I can have it uh, have the chip bag prepared before our epoxy hardens. All right. Once the epoxy is hardened, um, or while it's hardening, um, it's good to make sure that um, you're getting a good fit all the way around the edge. And you can do that by holding it up to the light and making sure no light is coming through the edges. Um, you want it to be nice and dark inside of there for your camera. Uh, I didn't get a very good chip bag. This one's kind of crinkly. We'll, we'll see how it turns out. It's not in the focus, so it might be okay. Um, but I got it all glued, and so now we just trim them out. And this is more of just, uh, more about making it look nice for you than anything functional. So. I let the epoxy cure a bit more and uh, then just trimmed up the edge with the scissors. Worked pretty well. And uh, for mounting, um, Mine was a pretty tight fit, so I ended up just using um, some masking tape around the inside and uh, just fitting it over that uh, larger shell. Um, push it on, it, it stays pretty well. Um, for your application, uh, may not be such a nice fit. Um, just some foam wrapped around might work. Um, you might be able to use... Uh, uh, my buddy recommended some of uh, this foam, which is um, used for sealing windows. Um, you can just tape that around the inside, pretty um, squishy and self-adhesive. Um, so those are some options. Um, let's go out and see if it works. So I've got the optical film version put on. And I got it out on a tripod, so let's uh, have a look and see how it does. So initially firing up the camera, um, I can see the can and I can see some light coming in the edges. I had to do a still shot on this because uh, my camera in video mode um, doesn't show you that. But on the plus side, that makes it really easy to, to center the sun inside the can. I'll probably take some black paint and touch up where the epoxy shows through. That would have been one benefit to using uh, JB Weld instead of the clear epoxy. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the sun. And uh, it doesn't always focus right away, but once I get it there, and then if I can avoid touching the camera, uh, it should be pretty solid. I wanted to show you a still of the chip bag filter. Uh, you can see all the cracks and the dots from the printing on the outside. Uh, that little red blemish in the center is the sun. Um, but when I zoomed in, um, it never got any clearer. So uh, verdict is the chip bag is out. One thing I learned from the chip bag filter 
was that only a very small portion of the film was being used by the camera. Even though the lens is large, it's focused down to a very small point. And so instead of applying that large area of film, I could just start with a can with a hole in it and then add a small piece of mylar over the end. So stick around for the next video and we'll give it a try.